This could at least stop nine millimeter, if not 45. This nice cast iron, you could probably cook out of it too. You would, you know, if you're just cooking for one, that's metal. If you try doing this with a condenser mic, if I tried walking around with like my blue ember, for example, which that's really cool if they include those accessories, pretty damn phenomenal. So thank you, Harris. Mayano, you've done it again. She sounds amazing. So I think what makes this microphone really interesting and unique is the fact that it can be both USB or XLR, which I think is fantastic considering a lot of people do not have a mixer or a preamp or an audio interface where they're able to use XLR microphones and they just want to start out using USB. And then when they upgrade their setup a little bit and get themselves a mixer or an audio interface, they are able to hook this up via a XLR cable and go from using software plugins, VST plugins to using actual hardware, compressors, noise gates, equalizers, stuff like that. So the fact that you can do all that with this one microphone which is incredibly rugged and durable and that's part of the reason part of the beauty of a dynamic microphone versus something like a condenser that is very very sensitive not only physically sensitive and gets damaged much much easier as it is a very sensitive capsule but also the sound profile as well, it is less sensitive, so it picks up more of your voice directly into the microphone and less of the background noise from your fan PCs and clicking on a keyboard. So for somebody that is a streamer, podcaster, that has a lot of background noise in their office, this is a very, very good option. And it also includes some pretty sweet accessories, including a pop filter and a pretty nice adjustable stand for a recommended retail of 60 US dollars. And they do run promotions quite frequently on Amazon. It is compatible with both PC and Mac, which is phenomenal. And since this does have an XLR socket in addition to the USB-C port, besides being able to plug into a mixer, you can actually take this on the go and actually plug into an amplifier on stage, some kind of a live conference or live speech or even a concert, which is pretty darn awesome. All right, so you get some nice foam here holding all your products in place. You do have an XLR cable included, which is really, really nice. This is a 10 foot cable. Now in this bottom tray right here, you have your documentation. So your warranty, your instruction manual. You have a shock mount, which is, again, very nice that they're including all of these accessories. A nice long 10 foot USB-C cable. Very, very high quality. It's not braided or microfiber, it's just rubberized. However, it is a very, very thick, durable feeling cable. So that is very nice. Then you have the included pop filter. We'll break into that right now. So very tiny, but it is dual layer. As you can see, there are uh, there is nylon mesh on each side here, so that will really kind of limit your plosives. Peter Piper pickle the pepper when you're right up on the mic. So that is very, very nice. You have a little silica gel packet in here. Make sure you dispose of that properly so your pets and or children do not get a hold of that. And then you have this nice, this could at least stop nine millimeter, if not 45, this nice cast iron. You could probably cook out of it too. You wouldn't, you know, if you're just cooking for one, that's metal. But first of all, I want to explain why I am actually very, very excited about this product, this microphone, and why I think it is a good value for the money. This retails for 60 US dollars. I have messed around with this microphone in both USB and XLR, so I understand what the sound profile sounds like, and it definitely exceeded my expectations. Moreover than that, it includes a ton of accessories, a 10-foot XLR cable that actually sounds very good. There is no interference or anything like that. A 10-foot USB-C cable that is very, very thick, not braided or micro fiber, but very, very thick and durable. A cast iron, I mean, you could cook with this bad boy if you want to. Very durable stand here. A shock mount. A dual layer nylon pop filter and an adjustable stand and or base. Incredibly versatile because again, it is USB-C, but then when you get yourself a mixer or an audio interface or tickle, tickle my fancy on this here, you throw this in a laptop bag. You don't need to carry a mixer with you or anything like that. You just use it in your USB configuration. Then you get back home where you have your main setup, your desktop, your rig, your boom arm and whatnot. You're able to attach this to the boom arm and then run it through your mixer with an XLR cable, all with one $60 microphone that actually sounds, that hits well above its weight class when it comes to audio profile. Now this also does have a built-in onboard pop filter underneath this mesh cover right here. That will work on the go if you're doing something like a concert or you're giving a speech or something Something like that in a conference. However, um, you are going to want to use the pop filter and the shock mount on a boom arm. Why would you not just want to get the best sound quality possible? Now the microphone itself is pretty simplistic. You have an XLR plug-in on the bottom. You also have a USB-C cable. You have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for lag-free monitoring. You have an on and off switch, and then you have an up and down for the headphone volume of your monitoring. You have a built-in pop filter here. This thing feels incredibly rugged, incredibly durable. And screwing off this threaded capsule cover here, you can see the pop filter built on on board. 
So getting the included accessories assembled is pretty darn easy. I have half a brain cell and I was able to figure it out. So you screw the stand into the base and then you screw the shock mount into the top of that. Now this knob right here will allow you to adjust the microphone if you tighten it down. Obviously it'll be harder to maneuver. And then basically use these wires right here to slip the microphone in like this. All right, you're just gonna spread her open and gently insert it. Perfect, perfect. And as you can see, if you tap the microphone now, it is actually uh, absorbing a ton of that impact there. It's not, if you, bunk, if you bang your desk or anything, it's basically absorbing a bunch of that impact there. So that is really, really nice. She's wiggly. That's what we like to see. Alrighty boys, well I got the Mayano dynamic mic on its included stand with its included shock mount, included a uh, pot filter, basically all the included accessories here. This is with the included USB-C cable. Now getting set up right out of the box is very easy. It is, it is plug and play. It basically installs all drivers on its own. Then you're gonna come down here to your Windows settings. Then you're gonna come down here to the bottom right of Windows 10, right click and open sound settings. Then you are gonna, by default, it did select the USB XLR dynamic mic for both my input and my output. So uh, if you want to be able to monitor this through your headphones, then you are gonna leave it right here. However, I just have it selected as my external speakers right now. And then of course, input, you do want the microphone USB slash XLR. Just click on device properties over here. By default, this was at 90. I bumped it up to 100. All right, boys, same microphone, same accessories, but now we have added three VST plugins, a compressor, an equalizer, and a noise gate. And this is the kind of sound that you can expect to get out of the USB connection out of this microphone. I have to say, um, after listening back to it, I think it sounds pretty damn good. All right, let's check out these plosives with the included uh, pop filter as well as the onboard built-in pop filter. Peter Piper pickled peppers. Peter Piper pickled peppers. All right, let's check out the harshness of these S's. Sandy sells seashells down there by the seashore. Sandy sells seashells by the seashore. And she also sells other stuff down there too. Alrighty boys, so now we are hooked up in the XLR configuration and I have to say it actually sounds pretty damn good in my opinion. You get that rich radio-esque presence and whatnot, that bass in your voice, that compressor action making you sound so sweet. So I do have two pointers for Mayano, two areas of improvement, two uh, little minor critiques, if you will. The first one is that the threading on the stock mount here is plastic, so when you are screwing into a metal mount like for example what comes on the blue compass boom arm or pretty much any quality boom arm is going to be metal so it's metal to plastic connection and it just feels like if you were to uh, accidentally thread that in crooked or anything like that you're going to snap your threads and have a bad day so i would recommend if you do pick up this microphone to also just pick up a aluminum mount for it as well however the stock mount it didn't break on me or anything like that it does feel a little plasticky cheap and chintzy that so that's not too great and then the second one is uh the plosives unless i'm being very strict with my microphone protocol where i purposely try and if i purposely try and subdue or suppress my my peas as i'm doing right now but if i just talk normally peter piper pickled a pepper okay it's not too bad now peter piper pickled a pepper peter piper pickled a pepper okay so it's not too bad now but earlier um the plosives were incredibly poppy. And I think the main reason for that being is that it's not perfectly centered here, as you can see, and there really is no way to get this perfectly centered over the mic. It's kind of offset, and that all comes down to this little aluminum mount that they have on the side. Well, you can't really see it, but that little aluminum wire that mounts it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the stock pop filter. I think it's really cool that they include one. I mean, it's also on a shock mount with the pop filter. So that's really cool that they include those accessories. And this is with their included XLR cable. As you can tell, there's no interference. If I go radio silence, dead quiet. I mean, I have the noise gate on, so it cuts out my fans and everything. It's just dead, absolutely quiet. In my opinion, this sounds phenomenal, especially for the price. Here's the value of this microphone is its sheer versatility. It is a dynamic microphone. So even without using a software noise gate or anything like that, it's gonna pick up less noise in the background of your room. So as a streamer, your keyboard clicking, fans from your gaming PC, maybe a ceiling fan. I live in Florida here, and a lot of times I just can't stream in my house with no fan on because it gets stupid hot here, like D Dubai hot. And then the fact that this is XLR and USB, and it sounds respectable in its USB configuration, which is pretty much what you can expect from most USB microphones in the 60 to $100 range is that they're gonna sound pretty acceptable. And the performance difference between like a $130 Blue Yeti and like a $60 off-brand USB microphone that is built to spec isn't really that big of a difference. Now, when you make the jump to XLR, which coincidentally, this is also an XLR microphone, we're using it in its XLR configuration right now. That's when this microphone well exceeds its $60 price point, in my opinion, when it comes down to sheer um, audio quality. The dynamic range is very good. I think it's very accurate. It's re reproducing my voice 
um, exactly how I want it to sound with the equalizer settings that I have to kind of boost up the bass of my voice a little bit, cut down those muddy mids, give me a little uh, peak brightness in my treble. So again, it's quite portable. You throw this in a laptop bag and just use it as a USB microphone and you're able to you know, stream if you're on a business trip or you're in a dormitory or something where you can't have your full setup. And then when you can, you pop it on a boom arm with the included shock mount, included pop filter, which actually, you know, listening back to it now actually sounds pretty good. I just wish it was centered. It kind of messes with my OCD that it's offset like that. And it also is really, really small, which is good because it's not taking up much of your visibility. I can see my monitor here for gaming, so it's not blocking a lot of my peripherals, but it's also small. So it doesn't give me that sense of confidence that it's actually absorbing a lot of my my vocal waves with my plosives. Peter Piper did some weird stuff with this pickle. Alrighty, boys. So I got the Mayano XLR microphone hooked up to the Go XLR right now. I am going to share my settings in just a minute in case you guys want to mirror them because you like the way my voice sounds and you want to use the same equalizer, compressor, and noise gate. So I know a lot of people, probably including myself, this is most likely the way that I'm going to use this microphone with a full green screen behind me if I'm just walking around doing some kind of commentary, kind of like General Sam does. You can get a pretty good idea of the handling noise right now. As long as you're not handling the microphone from the cardioid capsule up here around the actual pop filter. <laughs> As long as you're holding the microphone down here at its metal base, it's pretty damn good. There's very, very minimal handling noise, which is awesome. If you try doing this with a condenser mic, if I tried walking around with like my Blue Ember, for example, which is a great microphone. However, you can't really do that with a condenser mic because they are incredibly sensitive in comparison to something like a dynamic microphone. Completely different sound signatures. If you want the most accurate representation of your voice, Generally, you're gonna go with a condenser microphone. That's why music studios use them. However, for live performances, if you go to a rock concert or anything, a lot of times, you know, they're gonna be yelling into a dynamic microphone because it can get swung around, beat around, dropped. You know, they might be intoxicated, probably. They're probably intoxicated on God knows what. They'll drop the microphone, stumble around, pick it up, keep going, and the microphone's fine. You do that with a condenser microphone, one good drop, a $2,000 blue Kiwi or a nice condenser microphone, it's done. The capsules are incredibly sensitive. A dynamic microphone is a lot more rugged. That's why it's used for a lot of live performances. And when I say performances, that doesn't necessarily have to be a concert, but a lot of times somebody's on stage giving a presentation. Hey, I'm Kevin Clark, certified life and business coach, and this is going to be a presentation on how to un -F your life. This is going to be a motivational speech about when life hands you lemons, but you bend it over the stand and you have your way with some citrus. Mayano, you've done it again. That's my, that's my mouth. My eyes are up. My eyes are up here, sister. Mayano, you've done it again. She sounds amazing. All right, boys. So as promised, these are the settings that I'm currently running. This is 50 decibels of gain with the preamp on board the Go XLR, which by the way is a very, very good preamp. It's quite impressive. So this is the noise gate settings that I'm currently running. These are Harris Heller, AKA Alpha Gaming, AKA the Stream Doctor. These are his settings as well. And I run them because I think they sound pretty damn phenomenal. So thank you, Harris. And these are my compressor settings over here. And I keep my de-esser set at 60. The default is 50, but obviously it does cut down on a lot of those S's. Sandy sells she sells by the seashore it makes them a lot softer, which is nice. All in all, I'm actually really impressed with this product. Um, I do strongly recommend it, especially for the price point. To me, honestly, thinking about it, I would recommend this microphone if it was $80. I'm not trying to speak this into existence. I know Mayana watches my videos when I do a product review for them. Um, I'm not saying raise your price to $80. If you already have it set at 60 US dollars and that's not some kind of a temporary promotion or anything like that, keep it there because I think there's tremendous value with this microphone. And like I said, I mean, if for $80, I would still recommend this microphone because of its versatility and the feature, the, the, the fact that it is XLR and USB, that's awesome. It's very versatile. You basically just need this microphone. It comes with all the included accessories and you run it directly off your laptop or desktop. And then when you pony up the dough, you start earning money from Twitch or YouTube and you are able to buy yourself a mixer or a uh, audio interface you use the same microphone and you sound better. So this microphone here, as well as some of the accessories that I mentioned, like a metal adapter and the boom arm that I'm on right now will be linked in the description below if you wanna check them out. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it to get seen by more people, which in turn helps me grow this little channel, which I do greatly, greatly appreciate. Subscribe for more content like this. I do a lot of news in the gaming community and industry, as well as tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.